Are you ready to begin your life of debt freedom? Join Gloria Copeland and guest Pastor George Pearsons as they explore the necessary steps to being free from the world system and living in the blessing. Today on The Believer's Voice of Victory. Hello everybody, I'm Gloria Copeland. Pastor George has me all stirred up over this prosperity business. And we are continuing on. Today is our 108th day of prosperity teachings. And eight day. Think about it. Wow, Glory. think about it. Dad think Clark about used it. to say, think, think about, about it. it. Yes. Wow. It's been awesome. George. We've been we've been delving into this study of mm -hmm. debt freedom. It is the will of God for you to sure. be debt free. And if you haven't been watching the broadcast, you can go back to kcm.org. They're on there for you to watch. Uh, these outlines, all of the outlines that we're working from, the daily outlines are available to you. Go to the home page, click on to the picture of Glory and Me. It'll take you right to the outlines and you can print them out. You can study them for yourselves. Oh, it's a great tool. And Glory, the reason I wanted to capture these thoughts, put them on paper so that the people would be able to have them, study them, mm -hmm. preach them. Yeah. We have pastors preaching these notes. You've done an awesome We've, amount of research. George. And I just wanted to make sure that we had them available for That's the people. Great. We appreciate your generosity. Well, I'm thrilled to do it. No wonder you're blessed. You're generous. <laughs> Let us have these. Gloria, today I want us to look at Proverbs 19.21. Proverbs 19.21. And let's read this scripture first and then I'll go on with what okay. we're going to talk about today. I'm going to read it from the King James, then Gloria is going to read it from the Amplified, which is really what I want to hear it from. In Proverbs 19, 21, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. That shall stand. What does the Amplified Bible say in that one? Many plans are in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. Many plans mm -hmm. are in a man's mind, but mm -hmm. it's the Lord's purpose. And you think back over your life, what you planned to do. You didn't plan to be on TV preaching. No. You no. planned to, to be an artist like yes, your dad that's right. or that's do right. something like that. That's right. Many plans are in a man's mind, but it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. Now, thinking back on the things that you would have thought about as you were growing up being. Yeah. You wouldn't trade it for what you got now. No, would no, you? no, no. This has been exceeding no. abundantly above all that I could ask or think what I the agree. Lord has done. When I think about my ambition, there just wasn't much there, you know. To, but, but I didn't know much. I yeah. hadn't been exposed to much. Yeah. I thought, huh. and I won't say what I thought about it, but because I wouldn't want to insult anybody in that position. But, <laughs> but you just never. Oh man, I, yeah. I would never have thought I'd be preaching the gospel. The plan that God had for you and Kenneth the day he asked you to marry him. On you our never first thought date. the first date. And you never thought, look, look what no. the Lord has done. Oh, look no. where he was taking you. And he's done it all debt free. Debt free. Even got you out of the debt that Kenneth was in that you yes, didn't know right. about. That's right. He never told me about his <laughs> he debt. He didn't tell you about the debt. And I didn't have enough sense to ask. But here we are. Here we are. <laughs> 50, over 50 years later. 50 years and going strong. And God has been <laughs> so awesome. And we're so thankful. But you know what? Things didn't get awesome until we got on the Word of God. Right. And began to walk by right. faith. And then it was like a new world. Glory exactly. To God. Well, you All know, Terry and I, we, we were in debt at the time. And we had made this decision to be debt free and started out on that journey together. And one day, I was getting discouraged about it. I was, I was not seeing much progress being made. And I went to the Lord about it and, and started to ask him about it. I, I told him, I said, I need clarity on this plan. I need some clarity of what to do. And you may be in that position today. You may be thinking to yourself, okay, so they're talking about living debt free. How? Mm -hmm. How do I do this? What do I do? And I did the same thing. And Gloria, I have in my notes here, I, I wrote down the exact prayer that I prayed. Praise God. And the prayer was this, Lord, I need your plan for debt freedom mm -hmm. and supernatural provision. I need your wisdom as to what steps I am to take. My congregation needs your plans for their debt freedom as well. Show us how to lay hold of your specific strategic plan. What do I do? 
Praise God. And that's where the Lord began to say to me, I have a plan for you. I have a plan to get you out of Praise debt. Praise God. There are specific strategic plans that the Lord has for us to be able to get out of debt. And when I said that prayer, immediately the Lord said to me, write this down. And so you need to Praise get your God. pen and paper. Yes, you I need to write it. down exactly what the Lord gave me and what he shared with me mm -hmm. about getting out of debt and the strategic plan that he had for me to get out of debt. So he said, write this down. And I noticed that when he had me write this down, it was more in a form of a confession that I could begin to speak yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And I saw that's the way it was working out. So there are five of these. Good. And we'll, we'll support it on, on the broadcast with graphics so that you can see it. But here's the first thing he said. He said, God has a debt cancellation plan for me. And you know, Gloria, that really did something to me on the inside. It lifted the weight. It lifted the There's burden. There's a way. There's a way. Words. There's a way God's out of got this. A way. There's a plan. God has a plan for me. And the scripture that he gave me was over in Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. That's an awesome scripture. And it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now, Gloria, the NIV translation like of that, that says, one. For I know the plans. Ah, oh, he's got plans. Didn't got, he have plans? He didn't he have plans. Wow. He has a plan. That's right. He has a plan. I know Your the plans. Your plan was not, you, you hadn't seen what his plan was. Right when you uh, were just starting out. Exactly. I didn't know what that plan was, but... I certainly didn't know. I, I never... I'd said I'd never be a preacher's wife, but when, <laughs> well, not you know, my plan. You know, what, you know what Terry said? When, right. when we met, and I don't, I don't remember this, but she does, ha having a conversation, the two of us at ORU, and we talked about one day, we talked about all the things that we would do. It was a really anointed conversation. And it was, we had it at a, at a restaurant called Goldie's yeah. in Tulsa. We sat That's there a hamburger and place, we talked about our future. We talked about television and we talked about preaching the word together. But she said something to me that she said, but one thing is that I would never marry a pastor's, I would never be a pastor's wife. The one thing that you were called to be. <laughs> but you know, the Lord can... We grow up. She we? loves it now. Yeah. She really enjoys yeah, it now. we grow up. But God has a plan. That's right. So there is, okay, let me finish this NIV translation. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper yes. you. hallelujah. Not to harm you. Glory to God. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Wow. There is, Gloria, a, right. a specific tailor-made strategic plan to get people out of debt. No, I never had thought about that scripture being used where fear is concerned. Fear. So he said, I have yeah. a plan to prosper you and not, not to harm, to harm you. you. So when you have a thought That's of good. fear, you know God's plan is that you have no harm. That's good. From this scripture. I That's never had good. used this scripture That's good. that way, but I like where it. Where fear is concerned. Absolutely. Plans to give you hope and a future. Plans? I have a future. Yeah. If you're in Christ Jesus, yeah. you're walking after him, you're taking the word, putting it in your eyes and your ears and your mouth. That's right. God's That's got it. a plan for you. It's a good plan. It's, it's a, a prosperous good plan. plan. You're going to like yep. that plan. Yep. Hallelujah. And it's a plan in the, uh, the rather the uh, King James Version, it says, give you an expected end, or the Hebrew says, an end of expectation. Yes, amen. So we, we have to stay in a place of expectation. Faith expects. It expects, and every day we are expecting. Right. I'll, I'll throw this in here. Um, there's a word from the Lord that, uh, that Kenneth received about 2013, and it was 2013, mm -hmm. uh, the year of great grace. Well, within the context of that word, there is a statement in there. I'll read it to you. There's a statement in that word that says, stay where you are, stay steady. Why? Your greatest blessing ever is at hand. Glory to God. So, ever. What I've been teaching our congregation is every morning when we get up, every morning yeah. when Terry and I get up, the first words out of my mouth are, I am expecting God's greatest blessing ever today. 
That's excellent, George. What a, that Every, is so good. I am in a state I'm of expectation. That. And that's when it says plans to give you a hope. Mm -hmm. The word hope in the, the Hebrew and the Greek, the word hope is confident expectation. Amen. You know, and what does the devil do? He says to you, there's no hope for you. There's no he, hope. He's always putting you exactly. down. Exactly. You're stupid. Exactly. You're ugly. There's no hope for you'll you. You'll never get you'll out of You'll never debt. amount to anything. Yeah. You'll never yeah. have this. You'll never. But yeah. God's got an expected end that's he's good. A, he's got a plan that'll that's a plan. prosper us. That's right. And I believe that. And I've experienced it. And so have you and thousands and thousands that's of right. other people. That's right. You just have to get on his plan. Exactly. Glory to God. And that helped me so much when the Lord said that to me. And, and I use that as a confession, as a declaration of faith. God has a debt cancellation yes. plan for me. All right, say that with me. God, God has, has a, a debt, debt cancellation, cancellation plan, plan for me. me. And it says plans to prosper. Mm -hmm. He's planning on prospering He's me. planning on prospering Well, me. you say, well, you've already prospered. Yeah, but I'm not through. Glory to God. He's still <laughs> prospering. He's still prospering. He still has plans to prosper me. That's right. Is that good? That's right. That? And then one of these days, <laughs> hey, we're going to be living in up upstairs. Mm -hmm. We're going to be in our yep. mansion. It's got gold streets out. My driveway's gold. The streets are gold. What a place. I mean, we never quit prospering. What a place. We talk about prosperity. Yeah. And Glory prosperity, it's spirit, soul, body, financially, mm -hmm. socially, politically, in Everything every way. Everything in life. Everything in life. Do better. So to, the Lord to told me. means to do better. When I prayed that prayer, I said, God, I need your plan. He said, okay, here are these five things. First of all, say God has a debt cancellation plan for yeah. me. So I would say that. I would declare Amen. that. Here's the second thing he told me. I receive God's debt mm -hmm. cancellation plan by faith, nothing wavering, sight unseen. Glory to God. So I would say that, Gloria. I believe I receive God's debt cancellation plan by faith. I'm not wavering on that. Sight on unseen, I receive it. I take it by faith. And from James 1, 5 through 8, it says, If any of you yeah. lack wisdom, Let him ask. if any of you lack wisdom of how to get out of debt, let him ask of God. Praise God. That he gives that wisdom liberally and upbraideth not. It shall be given to him. Let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. In other words, if you went to God and you said, Lord, I'm asking you for wisdom mm. to get out of debt. Yeah. He wouldn't say, that is so stupid. If you hadn't figured that out by now, what am I going to do? <laughs> exactly with you? right. No, he would give you the he'd plan. Give you the, he'd give you the plan. He upbraids not. That's right. He that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. But for not let that man think that he'll receive anything of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways, but a single-minded man, a single-minded single woman man. of God yeah. is stable in all of their ways. There is a confident That's hope right. and expectation about now, them. Now, that double-minded scripture is a really good one to use when you're standing by faith. Because mm -hmm. any time mm -hmm. that thought comes to you, you're not going to get it. It's not going to work out for you. God's not going to help you. You know, that's that's the wrong mind. Yes, yes. And you get back on the Word yes. of God mind, the faith mind. I am helped. I have received. I have yep. believed I received. I mean, you have to get, you have to say it. You know, you can't be a wimp. you got to get out on, there Gloria. and believe God. You, you can't. You if you can. want to walk in, in <clears throat> blessing and power and healing and prosperity, you can't let the devil take advantage. We have to receive that by faith, take, take hold of it, yeah. and not waver and be a wimp, as you no have said. Wimp. No, no wimp. wimps here. No wimps here. We want no wimps <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was reminded of, um, there have been several strategic times that Keith Moore and I have talked over the telephone and I've made notes. I have them. Keith is full of And food. he was, he and I were, this was years ago, and they had still owed money on their house as we did with ours. So we got into agreement with each other. Praise God. And one of the things that he would say every time we'd talk on the phone, he said, George, I believe you're debt free today. Amen. Today. today right now. Before the sun goes down, you're debt free. Praise God. And we God. talked about so that. So y'all were believing for each other. We were believing for each other. And then... You know, He's, it's good to have somebody to agree with and believe absolutely. with. Absolutely. A comrade of faith. A comrade of faith. Hallelujah. And so we would, and if, if that day came by and the sun had gone down and we weren't debt-free by the end of the day, well, tomorrow. 
Yeah. Tomorrow, you we're dead free. And you say it and say it. And Gloria, there was a day in time when tomorrow came for Amen. us that we were completely debt free. The day came. What if you'd have quit? Can't you'd quit. still be in debt. No, that's, that's as no wrong. No quit. We do not quit. That's as wrong as a farmer going out, planting a seed, that's right. coming out the next day and not seeing anything in the ground and digging up Plowing the seed. It up. Don't dig up your seed that's right. of faith. Don't quit. The, the third, reward is worth it. The, the reward quitting. is worth it. Not uh, quitting yep. is a lazy man's play out. And we're not lazy yep. and we're not quitters. And if we stay with the Word of God, it will come to pass. That's we right. will have the victory. That's God's right. God's got the plan. He knows what to do if we'll stay with Him. Yes. If we'll yes. keep our words, our thoughts, our yes. words full um, of God and His Word. Galatians 6, 9, let us not lose heart and grow weary and faint in yep. acting nobly and doing right. For in due time and at the appointed season, we shall reap. We shall reap. If... We do not loosen we, and relax our courage and faith. Or faint. if we faint not. Faint not. We're not fainting, church. We're not faint fainting. Faint not. Be Glory bold. Amen. Be <laughs> George, you're getting me excited. I, I have to tell you this, Gloria. This is so good. Uh, Eile, Eile, uh, uh Cody and Aubrey's little girl, she's a little over two right now. And, and uh, uh, Co uh, Aubrey is teaching her these little confessions of faith. Mm -hmm. And one of them is... I'm bold, I'm strong, no fear, no shy. No shy. How cool is that? And Could we get her on the broadcast to say her To confession? say that? Well, I've got, I, I, we could probably do that. I've got it recorded. It's but so It's so marvelous. sweet. And she's, she'll say, at night she'll say, Devil, no, get out. I'm bold, I'm strong, no fear. Amen. And then she'll go, no shy. No shy. <laughs> no shy. And, and she's two. And she's two. Think about Train up your grow. children Woo. in the way they should go. And you know what Aubrey's teaching her right now? She's teaching her to say, I am expecting my greatest blessing ever today. That is so good. I'm so <laughs> glad you shared that with people. Putting the we word. laugh and we think it's Putting the great word. funny, but that's the truth. Bring up wow. a child, raise up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he won't depart from it. That's right. Glory to God. Glory of the third thing, and look at page two. The third thing that the Lord spoke to me about His plan was God's debt cancellation plan will come out of the realm of the Spirit and not the natural. He reveals these things to us by His Spirit. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 and 10 says. And let me give you this. This is a good instruction. In one of the messages in our series that we're offering this week and last, Kenneth teaches about yielding to the plan and not to the pressure. Oh, and, that's good. And he gave a three-step outline that, and it's on there, that Terry and I have used for years, and I encourage you to do this too. He says what you need to do if you're looking for the plan of God, number one, commit one to three days to pray about God's wisdom concerning your debt freedom. Number two, pray out the plan in tongues. Number three, pray mm -hmm. until you know what to do. And Terry and I have done that time and again in the renovation of the house that we're in now. We spent time, we went to Phoenix one time. We decided to go to Phoenix, got a hotel, and we took during the daytime, we took time to pray just this way. We took three days. At nighttime, we'd go out and have dinner with each other and so forth. But during the daytime, we would pray, and the Lord gave us instruction on what to do about the renovation of our house. The plan came. God. So God's debt mm -hmm. cancellation plan, it comes out of the realm of the Spirit, not the natural. Okay. And, and He'll show you what to do. He'll, he'll show you as you pray in the Spirit, you can get, 1 Corinthians 14 tells us about praying in the Spirit and receiving the interpretation of that. And he may tell you any number of things to do in the plan, but it's going to come out of the realm of the Spirit first. I thought about uh, steps, steps to take. Mm -hmm. And then I thought about the scripture that says, a good man's steps are ordered, ordered of by the, Lord. the Lord. Oh, that's good. Amen. That's he tells good. us the steps to take. He tells us the steps that we're to Glory take. Glory to God. Number four, the Lord told me to say, I have the ability to hear God's debt cancellation mm -hmm. plan. Mm -hmm. So I hear it. I hear what he's saying no to me. No fear there. We That's hear. right. And I used Psalm 85.8. It says, I will hear what God the Lord will speak. 
for he will speak peace, nothing missing, nothing broken, unto his people and to his saints. So I have the ability to hear what the Lord is saying. I hear the voice of the good shepherd and a stranger's voice. Mm -hmm. I Isn't will not good? follow. Mm -hmm. I follow that good shepherd. And what does it say about the good shepherd? But I shall lack nothing. Yeah. I lack nothing. I want nothing. not. I shall not want. I shall not want. I found that to be true. Number five, he said to say, I am obedient to God's debt cancellation plan. And the scripture is Isaiah 119, mm -hmm. if you be willing and obedient, you, you shall, shall eat, eat the good, good of, of the, the land. land. And so I do whatever God tells me to do. We, Terry and I stayed in a state of continual sowing and reaping throughout this whole process. And this really is part of the, the, the plan that God gave to us, gave to Terry and me. He told me, he said, God, he said, I have a debt cancellation plan for you. He said, we are to receive it by faith. Yeah. And that plan will come out of the realm of the spirit. We have the ability to hear it and I'm obedient to it. I will do whatever he tells us to do. And you are looking Praise. at one debt free Yeehaw. pastor today because of Praise it. God. Praise God. Awesome pastor. Praise awesome. God. That is just so good. Oh, and one more thing. And God's one more no thing. respecter of persons. And the Lord said this. He said, he gave me some, uh, uh, some, uh, in, in addition to this, he said, relax, roll the care, mm -hmm. and enter the rest. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. Glory Even in the God. process of getting out of debt, relax. Uh, Jesus said, I have come that they may have and enjoy life. That's right. Glory That's to God. Right. Hallelujah. How's our time coming, guys? Do we have time to preach another sermon? Well, not quite, <laughs> but... You got, well, you got 30 seconds, George. You want to say oh, something? Oh, let me pray seconds? for them. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over each one right now, and I thank yes, you, Lord, that you Lord. have a debt cancellation plan for them. Glory and I thank you, God. Father, that they are receiving yes. that debt cancellation plan. It's coming out of the realm of the Spirit. Glory to and God. Lord, I praise you and honor we you. They receive that. it. They receive it sight unseen. They receive it by faith. Mm -hmm. And that, Father, they have the ability to hear that plan and yes. they're doers of it. They're it. doers of the word and not hearers only. Father, I praise, praise you for that. You, Lord. God has a plan for your debt cancellation. Glory to God. God Amen. has a plan He's for got a plan. your debt cancellation. Yes, ma'am. He is faithful to his word. He will be faithful to you like he's been faithful to George and Terry and Ken and me. When we take the word, yes. he goes to work. That's right. To change things in the right way. George and I'll be right back. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event. Living Victory West Coast Faith Encounter, Anaheim, California, May 31st through June 1st with Kenneth Copeland and Dr. Stephen and Kelly Swisher. The 2013 Southwest Believers Convention, July 1st through 6th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and their special guests in Fort Worth, Texas. The Great Lakes Victory Campaign, August 15th through 17th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at the U.S. Cellular Arena in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's time to get out of debt. Pastor George Pearsons and Kenneth Copeland have put together an extensive 12 CD teaching series to help you discover God's debt freedom plan for you. With sessions on God has a plan for me, yield to the plan, not to the pressure. I have the ability to hear God's plan and I am obedient to God's plan. You'll be taught how to receive God's wisdom and walk out his specific plan for your debt freedom. Discover that it's God's desire that you live free of debt. Understand God's reasons for living debt-free. Learn to remove the burden of debt from your life. Settle the issues to take the limits off your fixed income and develop your personal strategic plan for debt freedom. Kenneth Copeland and Pastor George Pearsons have each walked out God's debt freedom plan in their life and are here to help you. You are one decision away from beginning a debt-free life. Make your quality decision today to live debt-free. Get in on God's debt freedom plan for you. Order It's Time to Get Out of Debt by Pastor George Pearsons and Kenneth Copeland, now specially priced at only $29.99. Receive this 12 CD teaching at a 50% savings when you order your set today. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call toll free 1-800-600-7395. It's time to get out of debt and live free. 
For an additional 10% off, order your copy online. You know, God's debt cancellation plan actually begins with the plan that God has for you in salvation, doesn't that's it, Gloria? Right. Yeah, that's the way you get into it. You know, when you that's made the first step, w when you made that decision to make Jesus your Lord, your prayer was so simple: "Jesus, well, take I my was life." So simple. <laughs> <laughs> take my life, was it? And, and do something. Do something with, with it. it. Yeah. Do something with it, and the Lord wants to no do clue. something big with your life. That's right. Let's pray right That's now right. for them. Father, in the name yes, of Jesus, Lord, I pray over pray everyone everyone that is watching right now. And if there's someone out there that has never made Jesus Christ the Lord of their lives, mm. make him your Lord. Just say, Jesus, come into yes, my heart. Amen. Be my Lord. Yes. Do something with my life. Thank you. Father. And you know, he will do something with your life. Mm -hmm. He will change your life completely and totally. It's that simple. You give it to him, he takes it. Yes, Glory you give it to God. him, he takes it. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. And you can move into a place with him and enjoy the That's benefits right. of the covenant that you, that you have with him. Now, we have a couple of things that we want to give to you. He did it all for you. A wonderful book about what just happened to you in being born again and entering into this new relationship. A couple of brochures that'll be helpful to you about how to study the Bible. It's yeah. important. Oh, that's the key to life. That's exactly right. And how, Victory. Victory how, life how to get into the Word of God, how to study the Word of God, mm -hmm. and how to just learn your new life in Christ Jesus. Glory Gloria, I have so enjoyed this. I wanted to mention this. You said this in the break. You said, when you take the Word, he goes to work to change things. That's right, George. When you take the Word of God, he, he goes to work. Yeah, God goes to work. You open the door for him to go to work. Absolutely. You open that door for him to go to work. And I believe that people are receiving their Amen. debt freedom yes. as we continue on in this series together. And I, I want, I'm excited about tomorrow because tomorrow I've done research about this and tomorrow is going to be a this is your life. I did research about what you and Kenneth did well, to get out of debt. <laughs> and I got it from your books. I got it from Kenneth's is book. Is that right? This and is your life. This is your life. So tomorrow... I'm going to be sure and come. We're going to we're going to learn what Kenneth and Gloria Copeland did to get out of debt. But until then, this is Pastor George and... Gloria Copeland reminding, we're reminding you, you that, that Jesus is Lord. Lord. Learn who you are in Christ and how to begin your new life in victory. Request your free salvation package today at kcm.org. Jesus did it all for you. Receive his love and experience the good life God has for you. For additional teaching and free information on salvation, go to kcm.org. Continue to grow in God's word with this week's Believer's Voice of Victory. Available at kcm.org for purchase, streaming, or download. Let God's grace abound toward you and live in the blessing tomorrow on The Believer's Voice of Victory. We're going to be talking today about the plan that God gave to you and Kenneth about getting out of debt. So Gloria Copeland, this, this is, is your, your life. life. <laughs>